friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using Lawn Fawn's Roarsome stamp set. It's this adorable new stamp set with all these little dinosaurs. So I'm stamping those out in Memento Tuxedo Black ink on some Copic friendly cardstock, and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers today. The first image that I'm working on is the volcano, and for that I'm using E74, E77, and E79. I typically prefer to color darkest to lightest, so I'm starting with that E79 down at the base of the volcano, and I'm going to work my way up with the E77, and then fill in all the area that remains beneath the lava with the E74. And that's just because the sun would be coming from above, so the lightest area would be towards the top of the volcano. Then for the lava, I'm using a combination of oranges and reds. I'm using YR07, YR09, and then the R29. I wanted to get that molten lava look, so I wanted it to have that really vivid orange-red color, and that's why I started with the R29 down towards the bottom, and then I'm blending up with the YR09, and then I'll finish the rest of that space with the YR04. Now off screen, I'm going to also be coloring some of my accessory images, and I'm just doing those in the same manner, just darkest to lightest. So now I'm gonna work on the little pterodactyl, and for that I'm using YG05, YG07, and YG09. I'm adding some shadow toward the base of the head, and on the neck area, and on the inner part of the wings, and then I'm going to blend that out with the YG07. Then I'll fill in the rest of his body with the YG05, and I'm going to skip the wings for now. I want those to be a little bit of a lighter shade. But before I get to that, I'm going to come back in with that YG09 and add a little bit of dot detail to give him some texture and that scaly appearance to the skin. Then I'll move on to the wings, and for that I'm using YG03 and YG01. I'm using the YG03 closest to the body where it would be cast in shadow, and then blending out with the YG01. Next I'm moving on to my Triceratops, and for that I'm using BG10, BG11, and BG13. And I know that might be unusual to color a dinosaur blue, but I really wanted to go for some fun and bold colors on today's card. I was kind of going for a Pottery Barn teen boy vibe. So I'm using the BG13 for my shadows and then blending out with the BG11. And then I'll fill in with the BG10. And then I'm going to come back in and do the, um, the back plate and the horns on the head and nose with the BG15 and the BG13. Now, I don't know why for some reason my BG13 was darker today than the BG15. I had to double check and make sure I was using the right marker. Um, I did recently refill that, so maybe it's just because the BG13 was kind of fresh and the BG15 is a little drier. But anyway, so I just colored over that with the BG13 and left it as is. And then I came back in with that BG13 to add some dot detail on him as well. For my baby Brontosaurus, I'm using some oranges. I'm using YR01 and YR07 that I used before on the lava. But instead of the R29, I'm using the YR09. So I laid in my shadows with that, and then I'm blending out with the YR07, and then I'll fill in most of the rest of him with the YR04, since the YR07 and the YR09 are pretty dark. So I'm going to fill him in, and then I'll come back in with that YR09 and color in the spots on his back, and add some dot detail to him, just like the rest of the dinosaurs. And then for my last little guy, I'm going to use B21, B23, and B26. So I'm laying in my shadows with that B26 on the underside of his body. 
I also often like to accentuate the muzzle of an animal or critter um, just by adding a little bit of shading between the forehead and the nose. And then I'm going to blend out with the B23. And I'm going to be really careful to go over that quite a bit so that I have a nice transition since the B26 is quite a bit darker than the B23. Then I can fill in all the rest of his body with that B21 and you can see that I kept my shadows really close to the edges so he's mostly that B21 and that is because I wanted to keep him nice and light so he would be a similar tone as the rest of the dinos. I'm going to add some dot detail to him as well with that B26 and then I'll also color in the larger spots on his hindquarters and I'll use that for the spikes on his tail and the plates along his back as well. And I'm just coloring those all solid with that B26. And once my coloring is finished, I'm going to take the matching dies and trim all of these images out. So I'm going to be using this sketch for today's card. This is for our current Lawn Fanatics Challenge. And I personally love using card sketches. I think they give you some new and fresh ideas for layouts on a card. So I am taking a piece of narwhal cardstock and then I've got some long thin strips of some colored cardstock that matches the Copics that I used. And I'm going to add some liquid glue to the back of those and lay them at a diagonal across the card to match the sketch. And I'm just going to make sure that those are butted up close to each other so that um, there's no gaps of the gray cardstock showing in between. Then I'm going to leave this to dry. I'm actually going to trim off a little bit of the cardstock just so it's not so long and doesn't get bumped and moved. And then I'll cut that a little bit closer to the edge a little bit later. I'm going to use a die. So, um, But before I get to that, I'm going to do work on my focal panel. I've trimmed down a blue piece of cardstock with the Lawn Fawn Stitch Circle Stackables. And then I've also got a Grassy Borders uh, down at the bottom. So I have some nice contrast there. I'm going to tuck in my volcano and add the little uh, kind of spurts of lava that are coming up towards the top of the focal panel. Then I can start to lay out my images. I'm using the Triceratops in the center and uh, so I'll put him in front of the volcano and then I can adjust that as necessary. I'm going to block off the bottom of it where it's kind of um, above the grass so it won't look so funny once I have the other images in place. But that will just give it a little bit more height on the card as well. So I've got the Stegosaurus on the right hand side and then the baby Brontosaurus over on the left and just making sure that I have everything just the way I want it, which is why I love using liquid glue for adhering images. And since this is a birthday card, I'll just add a dab of glue to the heads of each of the dinos and put the party hats on them. For my sentiment, I'm using Hippo ink to stamp on another piece of that light blue cardstock. And I'm using the sentiment that says, hope your birthday is dynamite. And I'm going to stamp that down twice so that I can get a really good impression. Then while I have my Misty Ad, I'm also going to stamp on the inside of my card. And I'm using that same pale blue card stock to stamp out the uh, You're Terrific with the P in front of it like a pterodactyl. And then I've got the little pterodactyl and the larger brontosaurus down at the bottom. I've trimmed down my gray panel with the Lawn Fawn Outside In Stitch Rectangle Stackables. So it gives me that nice stitching detail all around the outside edge and also gives me that little bit of a border for the blue cardstock to show through. I've also added some foam tape to the back of my focal panel. So I just peeled off the release papers and popped that down in the center. I decided to add a couple of clouds. These are from the Lawn Fawn Spring Showers dies. So I'm going to tuck the larger one behind the volcano and leave it hanging off the edge just a little bit. 
and then the smaller one is going to go over on the right hand side just a little bit higher. I've got my pterodactyl and he's going to resemble those three hearts that were in the top right corner of the sketch. So I've added some foam tape to the back of him where he's going to hang over the circle and then just liquid glue to the parts that are going to overlap. And I gave him the last little party hat as well. So all that's left is to add my sentiment and I used an everyday banners die to trim that down and I cut off one side so it only has the fishtail on the right. I'll add a little bit of foam tape again to those areas that are going to overhang the circle and then use some liquid glue to the area in the center. So that's going to go right down at the bottom right below the dino's feet kind of gives them a little bit of something to stand on as well. So it's going to be flush to the right hand side or justified to the right and just a little bit shorter on the left to match the sketch even though it is a bit longer than the sketch but you get the idea. And that is going to complete our card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. There's another peek at the inside. I think this came out super cute. I would definitely use this sketch again. So if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, you can also hit that notification bell if you want to be sure that my videos always end up in your feed. Here's two extra videos I thought you might also be interested in. Hopefully those will tide you over until my next one. Until then, I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.